so weight is down weight is down and things are looking very positive i feel like i've waited a really long time to say this things are down things are looking positive had an impromptu um training session at snack fitness yesterday uh where my coach managers really really good gym love that place it's so good it's got everything you could possibly need and everything is brand spanking new and it's just great lighting in the changing rooms as well jenna was pleasantly surprised at how lean i was she was like your check-ins are not doing you justice which is fantastic um not ideal for when she's trying to make decisions but she was very surprised at how lean my back was my shoulders um, she was like, your legs are obviously starting to come in. We've seen that. Um, my hamstrings on that check-in video as well. <gasps> so we've had another switchery with some food. I've lost all the, rice, all the Rice Krispie bars now. They are gone. I've lost a little bit of mince. There's, there's been very, very slight changes to food. But manageable. I'm eating a lot of oats now instead, so I have post-workout oats and I have some little bedtime oats, which is cute. It's keeping me full, which is nice. And it's helping me sleep, which is great. That's what we want. So that's what's happening now. And yeah, check in again on Thursday. I received a tip off from a reliable source that fake away. Indian sauce it was a pound in B&M. So naturally, I've just gone and bought six. <laughs> I'm an addict. I would have that regardless of whether I was prepping. It's that good. Five calories per 10 mil. Why would you not? Day two, I'm sorry. Day two on what must be 1200 calories i think i'm not doing too bad it's gonna hit me soon that i'm gonna feel absolutely tragic i know it is i still feel like i'm still pretty with it still doing an hour cardio no 70 minutes cardio still getting 15k steps food is uh, it must be about 1200 calories now after um the switch up at the weekend and yeah, I don't feel too bad. I feel very fortunate, but it also makes you question whether you feel like you're doing enough, whether you feel like you've got more in the tank, so why aren't you using it? I know recovery is a big thing as well, but I, I just... It makes you think you're doing something wrong, but I'm not. And I'm leaner than my coach thought I was, so that's got to be a plus, right? She's not giving me any food back though. For now, I'm going home to cook my parents' pizza and watch. Good morning. <clears throat> so this morning I woke up having a nightmare that I didn't get my base coat of my tan done and that I forgot my bronzy and my bikini and my robe it's happening. So it begins. What else did I ever do wrong? Well? Just it all went wrong. Wrong music for my uh, routine. Drama of the day, my scales are broken, so I'm gonna have to go and get some. Drama. I am hungry. I am hungry. Not like ruined my day. My stomach's hurting hungry. But. I ate my meals. I've got two more meals left for the rest of the day. And I'm a bit panicked about that. I've got a load of yogurt later, which I'll have about three o'clock, I reckon. I'll go and um, do my cardio in between. And then I'll probably have my oats at about seven. So, Trying to spread them out a little bit. Probably could have hung on for my chicken and rice, to be honest. Or I should have, not could have. But it's just how it is now, I think.
yeah, first week of getting hungrier, I have bought baby spoons. Originally, I thought that was stupid. I used to see people on prep and thinking, that's fucking weird. Why are you eating your meals with a baby spoon? I get it and I'm sorry. <laughs> I take it back. I've bought a packet and I'll be eating my meals with a baby spoon for the foreseeable. So it just lasts that little bit longer and I'm not eating it like a pig. I ate my oats like a pig last night. I ate it with a tablespoon and it was gone in about six bites and I was gutted and I felt like shit, I felt really sad. It was just so yummy, so good. Yeah, I'm hoping that this newfound hunger is a good thing and we have some traction tomorrow because I've got another check-in tomorrow. I reckon we might be under 73 kilos tomorrow. I hope so. I'm fucking working hard enough. That's the shit thing about it. You don't want to think about weight and things like that, but it's like the tangible proof of what you're doing when some of the physical changes aren't there. I don't know how fuck you off when you haven't had any movement. But let's hope for a drop. I reckon I'm under 73 kilos. I look a lot leaner than I did at the start of the week. I'm excited. The changes are coming a little bit faster now. I look different most days, which is cool. It's very, very cool. And I'm enjoying the process still. It's not stressy. It's not annoying. Um, I'm just enjoying it for what it is and the challenge and looking at myself in different lights. Yeah, unless anything significantly changes tonight or happens, I'll probably see you tomorrow at a check-in. I've sent my check-in to coach um, and I'm just trying to drag this little monkey out for a walk to get some steps in um, and I'll update you there. He made it. He's bloody slow. It takes 10 minutes to get in the mood for a walk, don't you? Especially this early in the morning. He'll be more lively for his afternoon one, I'm sure, but Andy will do that. Looking after Dexter for the next couple of days. So, extra walk friends. I haven't had any feedback from Coach yet on my check-in. Um, I think it'll be good. I look a lot leaner this week. It feels like changes are starting to happen this week. I certainly look like I'm on my way. I've had another good drop between now and Monday. So, only a few days. I've dropped another, I think it's about half a kilo. Might be 0.3 kilos, I'm not sure. No, no, it is more than that. I'll have to check, but it's been a good drop. Shoulders, midsection, legs are starting to come in a bit more. I think it's gonna take a lot of work to get my legs into where they need to be. Prepared to do it, it's just not gonna be nice. A lot of um, people don't talk about going to a thousand calories, um, but a lot of people do, a lot of women do. Because it's just what's needed to get your body to go to the places it needs to go to get the look. 
thank god I've got some time off work but in the next couple of weeks hey because I will not be nice to be around at that point if that's the case I'm starting to feel hungry not been too bad had a really nice rest day breakfast today I've got a couple of meals of chicken and veg today I've got beef and broccoli meal I've got another yogurt meal later and the rest day spectacular which is the uh, egg white pancake so I'll have that later tonight I always look forward to that now that I've been spoiled with the bit of uh, berries in my oats in an evening that one doesn't stand out as much but it's still nice it'll still be nice I think I might go to bed hungry tonight though if uh, my appetite's anything to say for itself for the last couple of days do you I think she'll change anything not today. I think she'll wait until the weekend. I think she'll see how things go. And I'll check in again on Saturday and see where we're at. We're doing, well, this week has been a Saturday check-in, a Thursday check-in. No, Saturday, Monday, Thursday. She didn't make any changes on Monday. Barely. So, Oh, sorry, no changes on Saturday into Monday, then changes Monday. I think she'll ride through. I'm in Dewsbury and Manchester on Saturday. I'm travelling to Andy's family and going to see Kayla. So, we'll make the changes as we go along. All my meals are pretty much made up of the same thing. So, I could go and buy on the go at this point which is good and um, you know I can take the components and just weigh it out once I get there so it's just the wait now to see what she says I think she'll be pleased though but we're on the right track again I don't know what the fuck was going on before I think my body was just having a shit about going somewhere it hadn't gone before I'm just over 70 kilos 72 something lowest I've ever been so I think my body was just in panic mode trying not to go there but we have forced it we will go it's just taking a bit more graft and I'm starting to feel it I am starting to get more tired I'm just kind of getting my head down and getting on with my stuff I haven't really got time for anything else I haven't got the same energy. I'm starting to realize that in a day, I haven't got the same energy that I used to. I think I'm still myself, but I'm not, I'm not 100%. Really glad I've made it this far. I don't think there's many people that can say that, you know, four and a half weeks out, that's when it started to feel shit. Because, fucking hell, some people have it really rough body's still thriving on it it's just starting to get hungry now ride it out this is all part of the enjoyment i've just had some feedback and i think my calories have just been dropped to 1100 and i come in here these people need to stop mm. it's gonna be interesting so it's friday evening of day one on I think just over a thousand calories if you listen really closely you might hear my stomach <laughs> I've had a really weird feeling today like excitement is up here emotions a real mixed bag last night I got my first email about tan from pca and it was like booking in my um base coat the night before and everything just felt so much more real and i started shooting myself today is the first kind of day where i've been in really good spirits today but my energy is just not not up there i'm not checking in in tomorrow but i will do a check-in I'm not going to weigh myself because what's the point? I'm not supposed to be doing that until Monday. 
but I will do a little video check in. I still can't get over there. I see it and I'm like, what? It was cycling the low calories until Monday. And then I'll check in again on Monday morning and we'll see what she thinks. I think it'll be good. Surely it can't be bad. Like, what the fuck? God, can you hear my stomach? I'm going to have to go to bed soon just because I can't, I can't sit and listen to it and I can't, I'm, I can't be hungry. I won't be able to sleep. But if I get to sleep before... Everything will be good. I can just pretend it's not happening. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning and put in some footage for my posing lesson as well. Saturday morning, I'm in Dewsbury, it's quarter to ten and it doesn't open until ten and I need a wee so bad. So I'm just trying to get some steps in. <laughs> what a nice day. I straightened my hair today. It is so long. Crazy times. I took a little um, video check-in for myself this morning. I didn't weigh in because I'm not supposed to do that until Monday and to be honest I won't shit for two days um, <laughs> so <laughs> didn't really feel like it uh, I'll worry about that come Monday but yeah I um, I think it's just my body because we're on such low calories my body is trying to hold on to whatever it can there's just gonna be Days like that now, I think, whilst we're cycling, certainly whilst we're cycling the lower calories. Um, and when we make changes like that, it's obviously going to have a significant impact on routines and things. So I didn't really feel like weighing in, and I shouldn't have anyway. But I did do a little video checking that my back is looking better, glutes look great, everything seems really on track. I'm happy with where we are, my back looks like what the fuck is that as if that's my back <laughs> oh mad things are things that all the changes are really starting to happen now so being on the low calories and feeling like a bag of shit at times is absolutely worth it when you can see things happening all the time it's much harder when nothing seems to be going on so really happy with it day two of low calories not too hungry yet. I went to bed absolutely starving last night. It felt shit. Um, my stomach actually hurt last night from hunger. Um, but like the sicko in me is like, oh, it's working then. Get that's good. Switched my two morning meals around so that I had my oats first. And then I just had my bagel with jam just before I got here so that I'm just a little bit higher up by 11 o'clock when we finish and the other meals I can take with me into town. Eat them up if I can, if not, whatever. I just have to suck it up buttercup. I think we're going to focus on my routine. I've practiced it a little bit, not as much as I should have if I'm honest. Um, but the next four weeks is when we absolutely smash that. And when you're ready, walk in and T-shape. Good. Lift strong shoulders. Lower the hands a little. And get ready for your quarter turns. 
lean forward slightly to me. And from there, can I see your quarter turn to, Ooh. yeah, you, you can do that, quarter turn to the right, step back, and glute shot, hand onto the thigh, into your side pose. Lower the hand on the waist, twist the elbow down to me, a little bit more good, and quarter turn to the back, hand onto the thigh, good, yeah. quarter turn, nice. Squeeze, chest lifted, and then from there, transition, hand onto the thigh again, into your side pose. Remember, turn the toe forwards, lead with the elbow, and back through to the front. And can I see your front double bicep? Step forward on the right, loop shot. Good. Feet together, step, and both hands come round and hip. And show me your side pose. You're going to put one hand on the waist, one up, and lean forward slightly. Show the, throw the other hand up and look to the and can I see your back double bicep? You're going to bring the hands down. Turn to the back, hands on the waist. We'll, we'll do that transition next section. Throw the hands up, good. Pull your right elbow forwards. And from there, spread the lats. Step back on the right, normal transition, normal transition. Good. And then into your chest, push down. Straighten the arm and twist, pull the arms up and throw the hand up. And from there, thank you, take your place to the side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so better. Oh my gosh, shit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's it, okay. So. <laughs> my friend that didn't go as planned Kayla had double booked me by accident which is fine it's my fault as well because I organized this one ages ago and she's just moved over to a new booking system and I didn't like I I spoke to her on Thursday saying like haha see you Saturday but I didn't say haha see you at 10 o'clock on Saturday i.e have you still got me booked in um and you know learning curves and all that so I've just done an, I did an hour on the treadmill walking and getting some steps in before, uh, before my actual posing lesson. We started doing my practice, it just running through my routine, which is why I booked that session. Um, but she was like, oh my God, you, you know, I can see your shape better. You, you're looking loads leaner, blah, 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 blah. Let's go through your quarter turns again and your mandatories and see how you're looking and we've changed them all Fuck. so i they look loads better don't get me wrong but now i've got some work to do they're they're poses that i would have normally done in my transitions anyway so there's not too much to change in terms of the poses themselves or to learn new ones it's just the order that they they appear in and i was going that way and now i'm going that way because that's my strongest side now Originally it was that side and now I look completely different. It's that side. It's just mental how your body changes, but like so grateful to have the opportunity to see her so that she can actually point that out to me because I wouldn't have known. Like I can look at myself and think, yeah, okay, that looks good. But she knows what she's looking for. And this is why, you know, you can learn to pose, pose at home, but that's invaluable. Why would you not go and do that? Um, she's she's brilliant for that reason so my hair looks very like tones of red in here what a vibe i'm enjoying it um shame my roots don't look the same color i actually sprayed them on this morning because you know that's life until we get to the hairdresser in a couple of weeks day hasn't quite gone to plan but it's fine i'm gonna eat this now mm. <laughs> and um go over to Milmore where Andy's family live. I think we're going to head into Manchester, which will be nice. I've already made a massive dent in my steps. We must be at about 10,000. So 
I don't need to go out later, which will be lush because like I said earlier, I haven't seen Andy's family in forever. So it's actually worked out for the best, although Andy has been, bless him, for two hours just fucking around in Jewsbury. He's writing, well, he's mostly written a best man speech for his best friend's wedding that we're going to in a couple of weeks. So I think he's just been sat in a coffee shop doing little bits of that. Uh, I just, God, I just fucking love that guy. Uh, so he's been doing that. Um, we're good. I think Milmore's about 40 minutes away. Mm. Milner is about 40 minutes away so we'll give them a heads up that we're going to be there for about one and then yeah crack on with a nice day I'm hungry because I'm behind by an hour Woo. Posing after doing 10,000 steps on a bagel and some porridge ain't the one, let me tell you. I'm going to learn to do. So I am now well up north with Andy's family. Something else I wanted to share this week was that at this level, I am so food motivated. I've hit the hunger now. I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not going to have like a post show snack haul or anything like that i refuse i've known so many people who have fucked up their reverse diet by doing that and having it in the house and just eating it so i kind of refuse to do that but this week has been really difficult that everything i see i want to eat <laughs> every year you know every time i'm walking around morrison's i'm like mm, i'm just gonna go down the cake car i'm just gonna smell that that big chunk of cinnamon rolls. I'm just gonna squeeze them so that I can smell them through the wrapper. I'm a menace. Uh, I'm doing my own head in with it. I've had to unfollow a few pages off Instagram, like New Foods UK. Who else is a, a, a repeat offender? 40 Second East Bakehouse, Donuts, all the things I wanna eat, I've unfollowed on Instagram. I'm really sorry, I'll be back. I'll be back. I just can't. I don't want to see it. I don't want to fuck that reverse diet up. I looked at a salad earlier and was like, oh yeah, look at that. I don't want to eat a salad, I don't want a burger. Who the fuck does that? Who looks at a salad and is like, mmm, that's a bit of me. I don't know who I think I am, but this imposter, this imposter wants a salad. And that's gross, I'm not doing that. Um, so I think I've just hit a new low of calories and a new level of hunger where there's a lot more desire for the things that I can't have, which is fine. I'll get past that. It's not like my father-in-law's a baker and this, this is a tough weekend. It's fine. Everything's fine. It'll be all right. But yeah, I'm not going to have the temptation there. People have kind of said, you know, what do you want when you... Um, finish prep and what you're going to treat yourself to I will treat myself after reverse diet I cannot cannot fuck that up um, reverse dieting if you don't know is where you kind of introduce more calories slowly so that you don't put on lots of fat that your body can't shift afterwards because you've pushed it to a state of fat loss and body fat that is unsustainable for one and it isn't healthy so it kind of goes into panic mode I believe and holds on to that body fat and you won't shift it very quickly at all so the the more you put on the worse you make it for yourself the harder that's going to be to come back from so what I did instead was I booked a holiday <laughs> I booked a holiday for uh, end of June start July which gives me four weeks to reverse diet and then I can start kind of enjoying little bits of the all-inclusive. I'm not going to pick out, but I am going to be like, I can eat fruit, I can have a pancake, I can have some eggs. Um, I will just have a varied diet again, but I will not be going fucking nuts because 
that's the last thing I want to do. And if I get anywhere competing this season, there may be other shows later on in the year that I want to do. I don't know. But I can't fuck it up. So that's a little bit on treats and things that I want to eat and reverse diet. <laughs> but yeah, I smell and look at everything now. And you can bet your ass I want to eat it. I'm looking remarkably less glam because <laughs> I've just finished that leg day and the cardio. We're back home now. I've just gone and got the rest of my steps in for the day and I'm just doing a little bit of self-care, catching up on meals, chilling out, resting and trying to get my body in the best position for my check-in tomorrow. I will get an early night tonight. My in-laws, bless them, got me an Easter present of the Supplement Needs PM Priming. So I have so much cortisol management. Uh, there is absolutely no excuse for me to be stressed anymore. Feeling good about tomorrow, apart from the fact that I have not... I have not shit since Friday. Body is responding to the low calories by going into full-blown mode i've also been bleeding this week which is unusual because i'm not due until the fourth my period has been on and off since last sunday so all this week i've had that which can impact on my constipation but has been no problem this week whatsoever until the big calorie drop so i think my body's just trying to hold on to what it can, which naturally it would do. So I'm not worried about that, but it is a factor that might impact me tomorrow. But yeah, now we're four weeks out. I'm trying not to be nervous. I'm trying to transfer that into excitement. Easy said than done, because we've just hit that milestone now. It's like It's like how I felt at eight weeks. Eight weeks felt big. Four weeks feels obviously bigger. Everything from here on in is rest. I haven't got a lot going on, which is good. I just want to get my head down and get on with it. I might take something this evening for my bowel movements. I haven't decided yet. I think I probably will. If it hasn't shifted, I'll shift it myself. I don't even want to anticipate what's coming after tomorrow's check-in because I have, have absolutely no idea. I really didn't think I was going to get that uh, low cycle of calories. So I can't call it anymore. She's just going rogue, but I trust her. So she'll do what she'll do. She'll see what I look like tomorrow and she'll surprise us all. So yeah, four weeks out. Feeling all right. Need to hammer these new poses and my routine now. All of that is within my control. My condition and my posing is within my control. If I smash them, all I can do is enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do. That is what the theme of the week is. So, love you and leave you four weeks out to the big one.